What's happening everyone? It's Scott here from WFLBC and I'm coming to you from beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh, I'm here on a little vacation. Did bring along uh, the Fujifilm X100F lent to me by Fujifilm Canada to uh, review while I'm here and I've been using it quite extensively so far. I've done some street photography around Honolulu. I tried to get out of sort of the touristy areas. I did do a few spots with this camera in some touristy areas like Turtle Bay, did some landscape photography, walked around Waikiki. I got out of like the big tourist trap area of Honolulu and ended up kind of in where the locals live. This is my first X100 series camera that I've really spent any long amount of time with. And I have some initial thoughts and then I'll sort of dive into my overall impressions of the camera itself. There's two things I can't stand about this camera, right off the bat, I wanna get those out of the way. The Q button, the location of the Q button, which is right there, that is right where my thumb is. Every time I go to shoot, I hit the Q button, every single time. And because this camera is basically just square, there's just this little tiny ridge here of a grip. You're either hitting the Q button or you're hitting this multi-function dial uh, right here, which is also a button. So depending on what you have that set up for, it's going to get in the way. Now, the second thing I don't like about this is the grip. There is no grip, but I get the point of this camera. I get that it's an aesthetic and it's a look and it works. The benefits of this camera basically make those two points completely null and void. This camera is stunningly good. Now I've shot with X-T20, X-Pro2, X-T10, X-E2S, X-E1, X-A1, and a multitude of lenses. Hang on, I'm just, I'm just I'm sweating. Anybody who's followed this channel for any length of time, or followed me on Instagram or Twitter. You guys know how I feel about Fujifilm and their X-Series cameras. They're phenomenal. But there's something about this X100F that is just on another level. And it's either the lens, which is a fixed lens. It's fixed focal length. It's not an interchangeable lens camera. Um, it's basically been the same lens from the original X100. This is the fourth version of this camera, hence the F for four. So it's a 23 millimeter F2 lens, which is right around a 35 millimeter uh, full frame equivalent. It's perfect for street photography, which I think a lot of people use this camera for. But what might surprise you is the other types of photography that it's good for. It's basically a fantastic all around camera and it really brings me back to being a kid and using a film point and shoot camera because that's what I had growing up. That's what we all had. Well, not we all. I mean, I'm older than probably a lot of people who are consuming this sort of media. It's great for landscape photography, for wildlife photography, for just everyday photography. Now, with the fixed focal length, it means you're going to have to use your legs to zoom. So you're going to have to walk towards stuff or walk away from stuff. And a lot of the time when you do that, it presents some different opportunities that you may not have noticed shooting with a zoom lens. But you don't get that with this camera. You get just the pure beauty of this 23 millimeter F2 lens. And that is by far the best part of this camera. This lens is absolutely sublime. There's a lot of sirens in Honolulu. I just kind of want to get that out of the way early here because you, you take 17 now that there's no more sirens. You get everything with this camera. You get all of the beautiful Fujifilm film simulations, Provia, Velvia, Acros, Kodachrome, which they call classic chrome. It's Kodachrome. You get uh, a really fast shutter sync speed because this thing has a leaf shutter as opposed to a focal plane shutter on their interchangeable lens cameras. And in a studio setting, or if you're doing any sort of nighttime flash work, that is really, really beneficial. I'll put, off, offhand, I don't remember what the sync speed is. I'll put it on the bottom here. You've got the latest uh, X-Trans 2 sensor, the 24 megapixel sensor. You've got the X-Processor Pro, the latest processor in the Fujifilm X-Series cameras. You've got the uh, controversial combined 
shutter speed and ISO dial. I actually really like it because I generally don't change my ISO that often. If I'm shooting in daylight, I kind of want it as low as I possibly can to get the best image. And if I'm shooting at night, I'll just stick it at 1600 or 3200 and let the camera do the rest of the work for me. If you're somebody that's messing around with your ISO settings all the time, then it's probably going to annoy you. But I, I like this. This reminds me of um, old Pentax, Spotmatics, or that sort of generation of camera where they had a combined dial like this. I, I really like it. I think it's beautiful. This is by far the best camera to use that has this hybrid optical and electronic viewfinder. I find with the X-Pro2, the only time you're ever going to use the optical viewfinder is if you're using the 35 or 23 or something like a, a reasonable, reasonably short prime lens because you want to take advantage of that real estate of the OVF so you're not getting this tiny image. But I do find I use the EVF a lot more than the OVF. I would say like 99%. The OVF is more of a novelty for me. Maybe it's not for you, maybe you use it all the time, and that's awesome, but I don't. The back of the camera is is pretty plain. It's got the uh, joystick here. Now, this would be an interesting camera to compare with the X-E3 because the X-E3 has gotten rid of this D-pad setup completely, and they're just using this joystick to do all of those functions. I'm kind of curious to check that out, actually, because that may be my next X body that I use. So. Stay tuned for that. I think I'm going to get one of those uh, for another trip I've got coming up in about a month. Now generally when you come on a vacation to somewhere like Hawaii, you go and do fun tropical things. And we did that. Cue the montage here. big nature hike up uh, my daughter and I up to there's a lighthouse I can't I don't want to pronounce the name of it because I'll probably butcher it and offend every Hawaiian in the world so I'm just gonna put here what it's called uh, it was a, a bit of a tough hike for her she's just a little one but uh, she made it and I was super proud of her getting out of the tourist areas is definitely something that I like to do when I'm in destinations like this because by and large, Honolulu is just a big American city and there's a lot of high-end shops that cater to wealthy tourists and that's not really my jam. I don't, I don't, yeah, it, that's not my thing. So I get off the beaten track a bit and go check out where the locals eat, where the locals hang out, where the locals drink coffee. Stay away from big shopping malls and uh, try to limit your time at the beach because you'll find way cooler stuff if you do that. There's a pigeon right there, watching me film this, I'm gonna take his picture, hang on. The pigeons here, there's a lot of white pigeons. I feel like that's a genetic trait, kinda heavily making its way through the pigeon population here in Hawaii. Um, yeah, I mean, I get it, I get the hype. I get why people love these cameras. I've never had more people come up to me in the street and ask me about my camera than I have with this camera. I've had people come up to me and ask me about my X-Series cameras before because they, they all sort of look retro and like film cameras and I walk around with this stuff on and like this shirt on. Um, so I get it, like I fit the whole vibe of Fujifilm X cameras, but there's something, uh, there's just a whole extra level to this camera. Four times in one day here in Honolulu, uh, once in Turtle Bay up on the North Shore and three times here actually. Once in the Apple Store, some guy working at the Apple Store in uh, Waikiki, he stopped and talked to me forever about, uh, not forever, he was a really nice guy. Christian, I think his name was, but uh, shout out to Christian if you're watching this. Thanks, buddy. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not much more I can say. I'm not a like a hardcore technical camera reviewer. You guys are gonna find the specs and stuff somewhere else. I'm more of an emotional camera reviewer, and I gotta say, I love 
this camera. I want to own this camera. I think with one of those hot shoe mounted thumb grips, just to alleviate the Q button and ergonomic issues that I have with this camera, this is the perfect camera. I really think it is. You can throw this camera in a bag, take it anywhere with you, and the results you'll get will be absolutely stunning. You don't have to worry about bringing lenses, you don't have to worry about dust getting into your camera every time you change them. Um, yeah, Fujifilm X100F is definitely WFLBC approved. Two thumbs up, uh, whatever they do in Hawaii, I don't know, that's probably offensive, I shouldn't do that. Um, yeah. Anyways, I have a wicked sunburn, so that's why I'm hiding here in the condo with uh, a shirt and a hat on because I got really sunburned really early on in this trip. And now I'm fighting a bit of a cold, but I have a roll of Japan Camera Hunter Street Pan that I picked up at a really cool camera place here in Hawaii called Treehouse, which is one of the coolest camera shops I've ever been in. It is so cool. Like, I desperately wish that there was a camera shop like that near where I live in Vancouver, to the point where I would even consider trying to open one. It is such a cool spot. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. I'm gonna go back out into this glorious sunshine and enjoy the rest of my day and shoot a bunch more with this Fujifilm X100F, which I am absolutely head over heels in love with. If you have the means and you're looking for just a fantastic all-around camera, and one you don't have to worry about lenses or anything, this is the camera for you. Absolutely the camera for you. It's beautiful. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate every single one of you. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you want to see more content like this, uh, I need to know that you like it. Feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you guys back for my next video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.